Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central Talk Television on YouTube. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Okay, Big Rami, where does it go from here? Before I go any further, and I've said it before, not anything I say is not personal. I criticize Rami. Uh, it's not because I don't like him. I'm a Rami hater. I'm just giving my opinion on what I see. Uh, from what we get from everybody around him and knows him, he's a really nice guy, and he comes across as being generally a genuinely nice guy. It's not personal. I'm just stating my opinion and what I see, my observations. Uh, Rami comes on the scene 2013-2014, wins the New York Pro. Everybody is wild by him. We never seen anybody that was put together quite like him before. Uh, he dwarfed everybody. Every, he made... Rami was able to make a 250-pound conditioned man look small. Uh, that was his first qualification 2013, winning the New York Pro. Makes his first appearance at the Olympia that year. I believe he placed seventh, so he had to qualify again the following year, which he did by winning the New York Pro once again. Now, Rami, from the get-go, from the first time we saw him, there was no need for him to put any more size on. Like I said, he he was head and shoulders literally bigger than everyone else on on the stage. The size was not an issue. What he needed to do was refine his muscle and bring in conditioning. Now, during these years, he was out in Kuwait, oxygen gym, there's some rumors as to what was going on out there. I don't know. But it was obvious they were, instead of working on refining and finding the right formula to bring in a conditioning, they were pretty obsessed with size, which wasn't the way to go. If, they, if a different route was taken from the very get-go, uh, we might not be... Uh, here right now talking about Rami the way we're talking about him now. But things didn't go that way. Uh, I don't know. I, I forget at what point he left the oxygen, oxygen gym, but at some point he did leave. He jumped around with a few different uh, prep coaches Never quite getting the right formula. His best showing until he won the Olympia in 2020 was 2017, where he came in second. Uh, there he has he lost the Olympia this year because of all these issues as he has going on, and you know what? It could have had the same outcome. Last year, I think he might have been given the benefit of the doubt and given a chance. Uh, there were issues going on, but it, it's they're not new. Uh, these things have been been, go, been going on for a while. It started small where it wasn't really noticeable. Then, as time progressed, become no, more noticeable. His issue with his quads, and not 100% sure what's, what it is, most likely uh, my gut feeling is that they're doing extensive shots, oh, repeatedly shooting the quads in the same spot over and over again, which over time uh, led to what we see right now. If you go back to 2017 and you look at his 
look pictures at uh, pictures of him, you look at his quads, you can start to see this occurring. But like I said, it wasn't an issue until it progressed to the point where it is now. His back, his back is also a serious problem, and it hurt him a lot. He, can't, he loses all the back shots with the way his back is now. Uh, he's always had high lats, and he's never been that thick down through the lower back, but there was muscle in the lower lats over the last few years uh the muscles been in his lower lats have been, have been melting away uh he has a big shallow area in his lower back uh it's believed that it's from some some nerve nerve damage that's ultimately causing the atrophy uh, and also now we see seem to see uh, something going on with his triceps and uh, the nerve issues that are causing the nerve damage that's causing the back issues could also be causing what we see now with the tricep. That's why he lost it. Now I hear two sides of the fence. You got some people uh, who are going in the direction I'm going in right now, is that it's done. Uh, there's no coming back from this. Uh, so other people uh, are thinking, well, if he puts it together again, he gets the conditioning right, uh, he'll win the title back again. He didn't lose it because he, he was a... He didn't bring the conditioning. He lost it because of the issues going on with his body. And you can't uh, not see it. And it has to affect the judging. The quads look like he has an eye socket in each quad. And then with the back disappearing, the judges are going to mark you down. He's not, the, the, these things are not issues that could be fixed. It was merely that he missed his mark, didn't bring the conditioning. Yeah, there are, there are some things that can be fixed. You can improve and come back better. But what's going on with Rami right now is not fixable. It's unfortunate. Like I said in the beginning, if you would have went, they would went a different route with him and maybe not pushed the envelope the way they obviously did with him and not be so concerned about getting him bigger and bigger, just worry, worry about refining him and, and bringing the condition. He might have had a totally different... You might have went down a totally different path. It didn't happen. It went this way. And there's damage done to his body that's not repairable. And like I said in the beginning, by all accounts, Rami is a really nice guy. He comes across like that. Would you want to see him try to come back? And look even worse and place even lower. Uh, there is, to be realistic about this, there is no way that he's going to come back from this. He's made, he's made his money here. Uh, he's royalty back in Egypt. Uh, he can do. He can stay involved in the bodybuilding world and generate uh, revenue through other means. But I think it's totally pointless 
for him to attempt to step back on stage again to try to win the Mr. Olympia once again, which, like I just said, realistically, it's not going to happen. Rami, you had a good run. You, you accomplished what the majority of the bodybuilders out there will never accomplish. You won the Mr. Olympia, not once, you won it twice. Be content with that. Right off into the sunset, don't come back and uh, try to step on stage and it's it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen again. All right, that's a really, it's really about it for this video. Uh, just a final thing. Rami, once again, it's not personal. I wish the best for you, but you generally seem like a nice guy. All right, we're done here. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, by all means, subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box, there are links there. One link is to the Facebook Muscle Central page. Any questions, you can go there, DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. There are links to Species Nutrition and Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links. Go to both those websites. Check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.